Duncan, only six days to go now. Is it, uh, is it an occasion you're looking forward to? Yeah, tremendously. It's going to be a fantastic um, day. I'm uh, really looking forward to it. A bit nervous, but um, yeah, it's going to be a special day for me and my family. That was going to be my second question. I can't imagine Duncan Ferguson suffering with nerves, but then you don't really like being the centre of attention, do you? No, it's going to be, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of people there. And it's, um, yeah, it's going to be a nerve wracking for myself, um, but it's one that I'm really looking forward to. And this side of it is the bit that you don't really enjoy, isn't it? We've just been going through programme notes, we've done Twitter questions and interviews and stuff like that. You'd be glad to see the back of all this part of it, won't you? Yeah, well, it's something I'm starting to get used to a little bit more now yeah, since I've been on the coaching staff. But um, yeah, when I was a player, I never really got involved too much with the media. But yeah, it's something that is part and parcel of the game and um, I'm starting to handle it a bit better, I think. And there's a serious point to Sunday's game as well because Villarreal will be coming to Goodison Park looking to get a result, won't they, I would imagine? Yeah, it's going to be a competitive match. Um, you know, they, they're a top team. Their their season starts the week after. So does ours. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a, a tough game. We're looking to win it. We want to keep up moment, momentum going. I'm sure they're looking to win it as well. Pretty much a mixed bag so far pre-season, but uh, some very good performances from the lads so far. Yeah, boys have done well. Um, you know, it's hard to gauge for pre-season, but I think the lads have done done pretty well. We've won a couple of games. Um, you've been we've always been competitive for most of the matches, and so yeah, it's looking good. The boys are looking up for it, and um, yeah, so hopefully it'll all go well for the the coming season. You touched on it there. They've been tough, competitive games. There's been no real kickabout. Remember, in your day, we'd play a a team of part times in Austria one afternoon, but there's been none of that this time around. No, there's, there's been there. I love an Italian waiters. <laughs> 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 we played in the first game before, so no, it's been it's been tough matches, um, and um, yeah, we had uh, obviously a tournament in Singapore, which was uh, two Premier League uh, teams, and uh, we've had a, a good run out against Hearts there, so yeah, it's been uh, they've been competitive enough, and I think we've we've done really well in them. Don't we've played down in Swindon, we've been over to Singapore, we've played in Scotland. The amount of Evertonians who follow the team in these games is unbelievable, isn't it? It's incredible. I mean, what was it, 1,300 or something, the game against Hearts? That's amazing. And even all the punters who went out to Singapore, it's unbelievable how they can afford it in uh, these economic times, but uh, they seem to find a way. And that's, that's the Everton fans for you, isn't it? They're loyal to, the, loyal to their club and they always find the money to travel. It's quite incredible, really, that passion that they've got for their, 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 their team. I'll never forget the time in Austria when you used to send a few euros across to buy the lads a drink who travelled all that way to watch a friendly. It was something that you personally never took for granted, was it? No, the fans have been the fans are have been unbelievable. They've been unbelievable to me. They've been un, they're unbelievable to the club. The followers everywhere. Um, yeah, you're well informed on that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got myself a drink. <laughs> you were one of them. I take it. <laughs> so no, I mean uh, I've always uh, been close with the fans. Always felt I've been close close with the fans, and um, you know uh, I'll always support them as best I can. It'd be quite emotional on Sunday, Duncan, won't it? Really? Yeah, it's going to be an emotional time for me. I mean, it's going to be special and. One I'm really looking forward to. Um, my family's going to be there. Uh, you know, the, the Everton family is going to be there. Mm. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be special, yeah. If somebody said to you when you came down on loan with the Indurant all those years ago that one day this place will love you and they'll give you a testimonial, you'd never have believed it, would you? Well, I don't think you you think you're going to do ten years at a football club, really. Yeah. I mean, in, in modern times. But um, to be honest, yeah, I did feel as if when I came down that this was going to be my place. Really? I did. It didn't take me long to think. You know what? I want to stay here. So, in that in that terms, I did feel as if I could have a career at Everton. You know. And the relationship with the fans has helped that along the way, hasn't it? Fans have been outstanding with me. I mean, they've been uh, been uh, supporting me all the way through my career. And you know, I've had a lot of hard times and tough times, and a lot of times I've been injured, and a lot of frustrating times. And believe me, anybody was more frustrated than I was. About I, you know, wanted to play so many more, more games for us. And you throw in a sort of suspensions and and holidays up north and things like that. <laughs> so uh, you know it has been it has been a, a part of my career has been frustrating for everybody, but also it's been a, a I've had a, a good career, and the Everton fans have played a major major part of my life and a part of that career. Six days to go, not much more media. Six days to go, not much more media to go now. Good luck with it all. Yeah, um, I'm sure I'll um, I'll be seeing you again towards the end of the week um, to see if we can push for some more ticket sales. <laughs> but no, uh, you know it's just it's part and parcel. I've quite enjoyed it really.